Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I know that it is winter. I like to work puzzles, but since I have a little cat, uh, that's not always the easiest thing to do. So I decided to make a puzzle board, something that I could still work my puzzles, but once I'm done, close or when I'm done for the day, I should say, just kind of close it up um, and he can't do any damage to it. So what I decided to use is this trifold board. Uh, it was found in the office section at Walmart. Uh, something you uh, kids use a lot in school whenever they're making um, displays. So I'm going to use that. And I wanted felt, but I couldn't find it by the yard. So I just got me some flannel. We're going to use that instead. I'm going to just put glue all over the board and attach the flannel. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay guys, one tip. Glue is going to dry fast. I decided to use my hand instead of a brush because uh, I do want a thin layer. Uh, I do want to make sure that I come all the way down the seams where the board is going to fold. Everywhere else I just uh, need enough to adhere it lightly. This should be good for the front. So I'm just going to lift it up. Okay, so I did a little rough cut of my corners. Let's see if I can get it over here. Like that, so it'll be easier when I start folding it. And we're going to want our glue again. This time we're going to be gluing along the edges of the board and just folding this up. Okay, so now while it's still just a little damp, I want to pull it up and just make sure my folds are okay. Right now if it's a little damp, it can stretch to make sure I can fold it. Okay, so we're good there. And I think I'm going to let it dry like this. So that I know. And now, because I just did a rough cut and didn't measure, it's ugly on the back, of course. <laughs> so what I'm probably going to do anyway is uh, reinforce that with some duct tape. I don't have any right now, but I'm going to pick some of that up. Maybe even get a poster board or something just to finish it off and cover this ugly stuff up here. Although I don't think that's really going to be an issue. Now one other thing. I was uh, thinking that I don't quite have enough of the material. Um, if, I'm, if my puzzle is here, but I have my pieces laid out over here, uh, that's great. But if I'm folding it up for the night to keep the cat off of it, uh, you know, that would knock everything into it. <laughs> so, I think what I'm going to do is, I do have extra pink. I think it would be enough to do maybe four like eight and a half by 11 pieces of cardboard so that I could cover those and have them laying on here. 
And then as I'm working the puzzle, if it's night and I want to go to bed, all I have to do is move those to the center. Then I can still cover it. Uh, once I get the back of it cleaned up a little, I am going to also add some Velcro and a strap just to keep it closed. Let me stand it up here for a second. Had this been felt, it could have doubled for a felt board. So I wanted to see if the flannel would work the same way uh, because I don't have any felt at all. Uh, cut out just a little circle of the flannel and we'll just stick it on here. And it does. It works just like felt because it's textured. I know you can't hardly see that. I had a flannel backed uh, tablecloth. So I cut out a little heart. And then I went ahead and cut out a letter. We'll just stick it over here out of the way. So this would also do double duty for you. If you do have little ones and you wanted to make a felt board, you can do it this way. Um, if you can't find the felt, you wanted to go with the flannel. And you can buy flannel by the yard. Very inexpensive. Hey guys, I went ahead and used some of my duct tape uh, just to go around all the edges. And I also put a little loop on here with a button. I just stitched the button on to the flannel and then stitched a little loop and used some and stitched it on as well. But I used some duct tape to cover it. Um, and then whenever I'm not working the puzzle, all I have to do is close it and pop the little button through. I had some decorative buttons, so I chose to use one of those. What would really be good for this, though, is like a little uh, dowel, just a little piece of wood, something that will easily go through the loop and keep it closed. So as soon as I come up with some thin uh, 8.5 by 11 cardboard or even some cardboard I can cut up, I'm going to go ahead and cover four of those that I can use on the inside for my puzzle pieces. And uh, that way, when I close it up, I'm not worried about all those pieces. So anyway, guys, hope this uh, little craft helped you, whether you make a puzzle board of your own or use it as a felt board for your kids. Have a great week. Bye-bye.